For this season, only seven players in the history of the program as freshmen had scored over 30 points in a game. Then this year we have two guys who do it, Shea Gilgis Alexander, Kevin Knox. So guys, let's look back on those special, special games for you. And Kevin, you did it first at West Virginia. How will these freshmen, as talented as they are, deal with the pressure? Kevin Knox says, just fine, thank you. What do you remember about that day? The game was crazy. I mean, the hype up to the game, it was a college game day. Uh, they were number seven at the time. And it was a big road game for us, and I just knew that we was focused. We had a couple of good days of practice. Coach Cal was on us. And I, just, I mean, I think we just all focused for that game, and then we just came out and just played great, and I had a great performance. I shot the ball really well. Uh, I found my teammates, the teammates found me. I just think it was an overall good game for me. To Knox for a three, that's good. That's two for Knox and 15 points on the night. When you're going off like that, does it feel different? Do you know in the moment that this could be a big day? I mean, I start off the game, I think my first shot I went in and I think I, it just looked good and it just felt good. And next thing I know, I just started making my shots. And I think I, think I had 15 at halftime. I just felt like it was gonna be a good game. and. I just felt every shot that I shot was either a good shot, I felt like it was going in, and I'm, pretty much all of them didn't go in, but it felt like they was going in. I just felt like I had the hot hand. The Diallo to Knox, and the lead for the Cats. What a turnaround for Kentucky. And look at that, a little emotion. I mean, we don't always see that from you. You were feeling it right then, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, I was feeling it, yeah. It was just in the moment at the time, very emotional game. I was screaming, everybody was hyped. I mean, I was just, yeah, I was just feeling it. I got a little hype after this dunk right here. And you don't ever get hype. Yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not the type that screams and yell, but this game, I, I don't know, I was turned this game. I was, yeah, that's I, it, I, yeah. I was, I was feeling Kevin it. Kevin was ready for that game. Kevin, when the emotions are running high like that, is that when basketball is the most fun for you? Yeah, I mean, I have a lot of, I have, I have a lot of fun when I'm just out there just playing, just having fun with my teammates. Uh, it was a big game for me, and I could see that they was all happy for me. Uh, they was all trying to give me the ball. Uh, when I got in the locker room after the game, everybody jumped on me like, that's just, that's what I love about this game. Kevin, what message do you send to college basketball after this game? It was a big game for, my, for me and my team. Uh, a lot of people was down us around this time. Knox with a response at the other end. Kevin Knox has been spectacular in this game. I just felt like this game kind of showed people that we can fight. Uh, that even though that we're young, that we can still hang with anybody in the country. Kevin, you did it first. So were you able to see that Shea had it go in this game? This was one where he kind of built on it, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Started out it small started and then early, it just kind yeah. of was an avalanche. Yeah, I mean, I just saw early they was going, they wasn't like defending the pick and roll really well at all. Like they were switching the big man and like we all know the big man can't guard Shea. And we just kept going at it, and he was just getting buckets this whole game. Here's Shea. Runner goes for Gilgis Alexander. He has six. It was a lot of this right here, where just a big sets a screen, and, you, and you're able to just play ball. From the elbow and the foul, Shea Gilgis Alexander. So take us through that, because we've seen there's a lot of different ways that you can get a bucket or get a bucket for somebody else in that kind of one five pick and roll. Yeah, um, I think that's. That's my favorite part of the game offensively, and that's where I excel the most in the pick and roll. Here's Shea again. Oh, come on, Tess. How about it, Farnham? I was reading off of it. Um, in that game, they didn't really they didn't really do a good job of getting it out my hands in the pick and roll. They just let me let me play with it, I guess, and isolate with their five, and, and it didn't work out too well for them. But uh, yeah, that's, a, that's my favorite part of the game. Three highlights in a row we got. One where you get all the way to the cup, then there's a righty elbow jumper, then there's a lefty step back. Is there any move you like more than any of the other ones, or how, how deep does that repertoire go? Yeah, um, I like the mid range a lot. Um, I'd say stepping back or bouncing off to the left is, is what's most comfortable for me. Um, I love getting to the floater right there. That's probably my favorite shot in the game, a little floater right there. But yeah, going left, going left is where I'm, where I'm my, at my best. I know you're here at Kentucky, but do you still think that in some ways this freshman season for you has snuck up on some people, sent a message about who you are as a, as a player? Yeah, uh, I don't think a lot of people expected this much from me. Um, but yeah, I just stuck to the grind, I trusted the process, and I really just, just did what Coach was asking of me and 
and just rode it from there, and then it just turned out to my favor. Again with Shea. And we've got a one-point game, and he has a career high. Kevin, what's it been like to team with this guy this year? Yeah, it's been fun. I mean, like, like you said earlier, a lot of people didn't really know who he was. I mean, he wasn't McDonald's, he wasn't Jordan Brand. Like, he just snuck up on people, and he just came out. He, he wasn't starting at the beginning of the year. Quade was starting, but he just kept working. was in the gym early in the morning, late at night. Uh, he just kept getting better and better every single day. I think he's my, my vote for point guard of the year. Uh, not because he's my teammate, just because of everything he can do on the court. Uh, he could do pretty much anything, pass, dime, get to the rack, shoot, defend. I think that kind of what separates him too is his defense. He's, he's one of the best on-ball defenders. Uh, he gets a lot of steals because of his wingspan. And like you said, he got my vote.